Jay has 60 points and Steve has 105 points. Before we get going with game two, let's do a little catching up with two of our stars. Richard Klein, another season on the series It's a Living. And this time you are not a wild and crazy swinging guy. No, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm a uh, completely opposite. I play a husband to one of the waitresses, very young fellow. And it's a whole different turnaround. I'm a nice guy with a heart of gold. Gee, that's just how you are on the show. Nice and, to have you on the show. And in real life. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> and Edie McClurg, now you just recently did Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. For those of us who do not know him personally, what's he really like? Well, you know, like, uh, hey, Rodney, you know, like, uh, he never looks you in the eye, but uh, you don't care because you give him respect anyway, you know, with a number one movie, right? Huh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? That was great. And, uh... Good luck to you on the rest of the show. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us, Edie. And we are going to start with Shelly on our second game. So let's take a look at it. We're looking for a place this time. And Shelly, remember, the one with the most points at the end of three games is the one who gets the chance at the fabulous trip of a lifetime as well as a new car. Five points per letter. And go ahead and put Richard Klein to work with uh, a word. Okay, we're going to catch up. Let's take five across. During what holiday might you cook your goose? Richard. Uh, how about uh, Christmas? Why not Christmas? Yes. And with that, you are now tied. So very good, Shelly. Now we're over to Edie. Okay, let's try one across now. When, <laughs> when might Ronald Reagan lay an egg on the White House lawn, Edie? Oh, uh, just about any press conference he does that, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ron. Easter. Easter is correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shelly? Okay, we have some letters. Let's go two down. And this is to Richard Klein. You'll need a little bread if you want to make one of these. Richard? need a little bread. Starch. Uh, spinach. Why would you need bread for spinach? I don't know. French. <laughs> I don't know. Shelly, can you help? No idea. Which means that we are over to Smiling Steve with his team, and uh, we want you to pick a word. Okay, I'll take two down. Stephen Bishop is up first. You'll need a little bread if you want to make one of these, Stephen. Uh, uh, the system kind of hot. <laughs> um, some ten bended. No. Steve? Sandwich. Sure, oh. sandwich. I knew that. And uh, we now have a game in which you are 145 points, Steve, and Shelley is 135, so we've got a close one going on. Pick a word or solve the puzzle. It's a place. I'll take three across. And Lois Bromfield. Mm. A Jerry Lewis telethon is very, very what? <laughs> Boring. No, um... Very bright girl. Out of time, Steve? Fun. I don't know. No. And Shelly, it's back to you and Edie. Okay, we'll take three across. Same clue, Edie. A Jerry Lewis telethon is very, very what? It's uh, over that uh, holiday weekend, so it must be long. Yes. It is long. Okay, I don't know it yet, so we'll try four across. Four across. And this is for Richard Klein. It's Madonna's favorite type of wolf. Wolf? Wolf. I can't believe this. I don't know this. Her wool. Her favorite kind of wool. Uh, um, Shetland. Uh, Angora. I don't know. Shelly. Is it virgin? Sure, it's virgin. <laughs> and guess what, Shelly? If you take a look at the puzzle, you see that there are no more words up there, so we're looking for a solution from you. It is worth 50 points. It is a plate. <laughs> and you're out of time. Over to Steve. A plate. All right, now, just a minute. Audience, what is it we're looking for? Island. It's Island. Take a look up at the puzzle. The solution is Island. Look at Easter, Long, Virgin, Christmas, Sandwich, etc. Okay, we got 185 points for Shelly. We have 145 points for Steve. Remember, the one with the most points gets all the moolah at the end of the show. And uh, we'll be right back after this short time out. <laughs> You have 85 points, and Steve, you have 145 points. If my math serves me correctly, there is a 40-point distinction between you, which ain't much because we're going to be playing for 10 points per letter in this game. Before we get to the game, however, let's check in with Stephen Bishop and with Lois Bromfield. Stephen, you've written a couple of songs for uh, two movies we can look forward to, Jumpin' Jack 
Flash and the boy who could fly. Yes, yes, that's true. And I'm also uh, trying to be a disc jockey right now as I speak, but it's not working. Um, but actually... I can uh, introduce you to my agent, see how we make out. <laughs> really? That would be beautiful. Do I sound sincere? Anyway, um, no, uh, I am the movie theme kind of guy, person that I am, and uh, I'm working on this, these two movies. That's true. That's nice to, uh, <laughs> nice to see you have work in this business. It's, yes, uh, it's it tough to establish experience. that and keep it. Lois Bromfield, you have a comedy video from Paramount that we can be looking forward to, and what yes, is it called? It's going to be equally as frightening as the last one. Uh, the last one I did was Sorority Girls from Hell. Right. Which I thought was a nice title because I'm a lovely woman. And uh, I won't tell you the title of the next one because I want you to be frightened. In fact, I want all of you to be frightened. And then I'm going to Las Vegas, which will be nice because the people there are so good. I saw you in Las Vegas uh, a year ago and found you very, very funny. And it's nice to have you back it's on nice the set of Crossroads. Thanks for being Thank here. You. Okay, now we are going to start with Steve. So we want to take a look at our puzzle. It's a thing that we are looking for. Remember, 10 points per letter. It's only 40 points separating the two of you, so see if you can do some very quick catching up. Pick a word. Okay, David, I need points, so I'll take three across. Stephen Bishop. It's unsafe to have them around your safe. Uh, locks, things, um, safety pins. <laughs> I don't know. No, Stephen, it's unsafe to have them around your safe. Burglar. Burglar. No. Shelly, over to you. Okay, we'll take three across. Three across, and Edie McClurg. It's the same clue. It's unsafe to have them around your safe. Well, it might be saltines, or it might be like sweet thins, uh, but it sure is crackers. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know where you were going with that, but now I do. Yes, indeed, it is crackers. Shelly? Okay, more points. Let's take two down. And this is for Richard Klein. You can find one draped on your bed. Okay, let's uh, drape on your bed. It's a cover, a blanket, a comforter. Uh, drape the pillow, a sheet. I You're out of time, pillow. Shelley. How about a spread? Sure. Mm -hmm. Spread. Good for you. And you're quickly getting lots and lots of points. Okay, let's take five across. Edie, Bruce Springsteen is proud to be what? He's proud to be a New Jerseyan. Uh, he's proud to be an American. Yes, <laughs> American is right. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shelly, okay. do you want to solve the puzzle right now, or do you want to pick another word? We'll pick four down. Four down. If you're not flat, you might be what, Richard? If you're not flat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might have breasts, I don't Ah, uh, you can see you're out of time. Shelly, can you answer that? Okay, if you're not flat, you're... And we are out of time there. Steve? I'll take one down, please. One down. He was nimble and quick, Lois. I would say that would have to be my last boyfriend, Jack. Yes. Yes. Steve? Four down, please. Stephen Bishop, if you're not flat, you might be what? Um, you might be spin. You uh, so sharp as a marble here. <laughs> uh, Steve? Sharp? Yeah. Yes, sharp is correct. Oh. Yes. Okay, now, can you guess the puzzle? No, you can't. We're out of time. Can you guess the puzzle? Yes, it's cheese. It is... No, I'm sorry. We're out of time. That was not under the buzzer. So that means the answer was cheese. Yes, indeed. And uh, taking a look up at the other uh, entry, six across was there might be one in the road. It was a dip. Okay? So you know what that means? That means that, uh, Shelly, you are our winner. Steve, we have to say goodbye to you. It's been fun having you on the show. We do have some nice parting gifts for you. And, uh, Shelly, we're going to get back to you and the crossfire round after this brief timeout.